Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to working with Working Man Ron Doyle. I'm a master electrician on Maryland's Eastern Shore and I want to do a little video presentation of the Braun 678 model exhaust fan light combo. Uh, you've seen, if you've seen part one of this video, it was the install video on a new construction application in this same bathroom. Uh, now this is going to be part two on how to uh, install the trim grill and the light bulb and the uh, the lens uh, and the cheap tricks uh, to installing this. Um, this is not really for, for Sparkies, uh, but uh, more, more or less for the homeowners. Uh, customers in the past that I've done houses for um, have called me back for a simple bulb light change. And uh, I said, well, it's, it's fairly simple and straightforward. And they said, well, you know, we can't get the light lens off of the, uh, off the actual fixture. So I felt bad and didn't want to charge them to go out and take the light lens off, change the bulb out. And uh, I want to make a video of this simple, simple uh, light bulb change um, that can help my customers out in the future. So uh, got a little library for them to look through uh, with videos that uh, are helpful tips and tricks of things electricians do. Hopefully you all like this. Um, it's basically it's the 678 model. Uh, it is a contractor grade fan. It has a four inch discharge that goes that way. I'm going to pan you up to the ceiling so you can see this a little bit better. Keep me a, Try to keep me in frame if I can. Now if you notice on this outer edge right here that it's actually sticking down. And I don't know if I've showed you this before. Um, you, see these, you see these tabs that are, that are pushed in. They were uh, on new construction, rough end, they were actually uh, inserted to give you the proper depth uh, half inch down for the sheet rock. Now on this side, the, the uh, ceiling joist is actually a little twisted. It's causing this to pucker down. But basically you're gonna push this side of the exhaust fan up, take your finger and push those half moon tabs down on both sides and that's going to hold you flush. Now if you're doing an extended remodel job and you need more time but you need light bulbs, uh, you need a little light in the bathroom to work with, what you can do is take your light shield with your pigtail. If you actually squeeze these two tabs right here and right here like this, you can actually squeeze both of them, push this through, take this pigtail out and insert your light bulb such as so and plug that in you can actually let that hang during um, your trim out phases so you can do your paint your drywall if your electric is actually hooked up and on uh, right now we're dead so I'm not I don't have to use this I've done it in extended uh, bathroom remodels this idea works great um, for the electricians out there that are watching this uh, I will say the painters drywallers and the other construction trades like these and what they'll do is they'll pull this out and steal it uh, I've had that happen in the past, so uh, beware if you're doing that, and uh, shame on you if you're stealing them. But uh, we're going to back insert this with the plug going to the outside of the shield. Line up your line up your tabs, push it in. Now to get this shield up, you have to take the bulb back out. You're going to take your your trim ring. Looks like so. Okay. On the facing of it, you're going to take your shield and you're going to install your shield into the opening and line it up. This can only go one way. So lining it up, it can only go like that. It won't fit the other direction because the measurements, the measurements are off. So get that inserted. Take this and plug it in. And the plug's actually strong enough to hold it. Get your, your acorn cap nut, take it out of the package, push the wire up, and what you're trying to do is line up the center hole with the, the bolt that sticks out. It's the center hole in the shield. You're going to put this acorn cap screw on it. Now, in the past, I've actually had these spin on me. What you can do is take the shield and with a little force push it that direction or this direction and what you're doing is you're pinching the bolt so that you can get that egg corn cap nut uh, inserted fully into the thread and then tighten this up hand snug not, not you're not wrench tighten this and uh, what I'll do to uh, aid in lining this up symmetrically in the bathroom is I'll look in the grill and I'll look at the actual trim line that is around the framing and I'll line it up 
with the frame underneath. Because normally your uh, ceiling joists are uh, square to the framing itself. So if you square the trim off the frame, you should be good. Now you're ready for, to insert your uh, light bulb. Now these things only take up to a certain wattage and uh, it is, I believe, a 100 watt max. And it's a A19 type bulb. And that, that A19 is a, it's a standard face light bulb. And uh, most people ask me, uh, well, they, they want to put a bigger light bulb in or it's a light bulb that's, that's longer like a fluorescent and they said the light bulb will fit. Well, Braun actually puts this piece of metal in here. You can see this piece of metal hanging down. This is so you don't put the wrong size light bulb in this light fixture, uh, heat this up and uh, possibly cause a fire. So insert your light bulb and then take your, take your Braun light shield they uh, ship it in a plastic bag and insert insert the shield with see these tabs there's a hole here and a hole over here insert these tabs that one and that one up into these slots push it up slide it back and forth until you hear it lock in if you don't hear it lock in it may fall later on you now years down the road three four years down the road um, the light bulb will burn out so what you can do Change the light bulb is get a thin, flexible uh, putty knife or a small, slim screwdriver. Come into the side over here, use the corner of the putty knife, and press in on that tab, and that will come out for you so that you can change this light bulb. Now, I've done this for a while. I'll actually take my finger, push my finger in here, and push that tab, and I'll pull it down with my hand. I don't use a putty knife. Um, but homeowners find that it's a little bit more comfortable to use a putty knife to uh, aid in removing this lens to change the light bulb. So look, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I hope this was a great help to you and um, just, a, just a simple uh, light bulb change. Uh, hopefully uh, uh, this helps you. If you all thought it was helpful in any way, uh, please give me the uh, thumbs up button. Consider subscribing to my channel for future videos on things electricians do. Look, I wish you all a wonderful and blessed day and stay safe out there.